wow, we've been talking about sending spaceships to a new planet. NASA actually did that last week when the Mars rover Perseverance landed safely on the planet Mars. We've talked about how fast rockets have to go to get out of Earth's atmosphere and travel through space. Now imagine how hard it would be to stop a rocket going that fast when it finally gets where it's going. All of us have fallen down and gotten bumped or scraped at some point. Imagine falling from space. Even with Mars' reduced gravity compared to Earth, that's still quite a fall. Anytime something falls, it gains a certain amount of energy depending on its mass or how heavy it is and its acceleration or how fast it's going. As the Mars rover is coming into Mars, it's going really fast and it's pretty heavy, so it has a lot of energy there. How did they protect the Mars rover while it was landing so it wouldn't be damaged? There's three main ways to protect something that's falling from taking damage. The first is to slow it down. The second is to spread out its weight as it lands. And the third is to have it land on something soft or squishy. Do you remember last spring when we made parachutes? That's one way we can slow something down as long as there's air to get caught in the parachute. And that's exactly what they did with Perseverance. They had a parachute open up as it first entered Mars' atmosphere, and that slowed it down some. Then they used some rocket engines to slow it down so much that by the time it landed, it was barely moving at all. Another way to protect something when landing is to spread out its weight. Have you ever made a paper airplane and had its nose get smooshed from crashing? If your paper airplane lands on the bottom, the force of the crash is spread out along the whole bottom of the plane. But if it lands on its nose, all the force goes into the nose and makes it crumple. Perseverance spread out its weight by putting all its wheels out so the force was spread out among all of them. The last way to have a soft landing is to use a material that can absorb some of the force. You've probably noticed that it feels a lot better to fall on a foam mat or a bed than it does to fall on the concrete. That's because the soft mat can absorb some of the force so it doesn't all go to your skin and bones. Sometimes they land space capsules in the ocean because it cushions more than land. With the Mars rover, there's no water on Mars to land on. They can't change the dirt of Mars to make it more squishy. But what they did do was make the wheels springy so that when they land, the springiness can absorb some of the force. On the first Mars rover, the Sojourner, they used airbags that surrounded the rover and bounced on Mars until the rover finally landed for good. So today for STEM, I want you to experiment with giving a soft landing to your planetary lander. Your planetary lander is going to be a cup that's not breakable. Could be plastic, foam, or paper. And then get something to be your astronaut. I'm going to use this little froggy, but you could use a little toy or a marshmallow, something like that that can fit inside your lander. Then, I want you to add something onto this that will make the landing softer. If we just drop this, Froggy's not going to have a very good landing. We need to add something to the lander to cushion the landing. Remember the three ways we talked about. You might try and slow it down with a parachute. You might put something on the bottom that will spread the weight out. Or you might attach something springy or squishy to the bottom to make the landing softer. Try to give your astronaut the most gentle landing you can using materials that you can find around your house. I'm going to raid the recycling bin and see what I can find, and Sapphire's going to see what she can make out of paper and a plastic bag. Test it out by dropping it from arm's height. You'll probably need to change or add something to make it better. The Perseverance rover went through years of changes and modifications, so it's not a surprise that our little landers will need some changes too. Once you get that working, see if you can drop it from a little higher, like standing on a step stool or some other place that's safe, and see if you still get a soft landing. When you're happy with your landing or you're out of time, take a picture or a video and share it with your class. I hope you stay safe, have fun, and keep engineering.